Hey folks, we are looking at how to create a multi-photo layout, a print layout in Lightroom Classic. Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com, the Lightroom learning community and LightroomKillerTips.com, where you're most likely watching this right now. And let's get going. All right, so step one, put all the images that you want to use in your print layout into a collection. Then come over here to the print module, click on contact sheet. That's the one, or single image slash contact sheet. That's the one that allows us to have the multiple photos in a layout grid. And that's where the fun begins. So step one, put them in a collection, select all the photos. Just command A on Mac, control A on Windows. Step two, click on single image contact sheet. Step three is where all the fun is, inside the layout panel. So I have margin set at three quarters inch all the way around. That's not the fun part. It's this page grid. So the page grid is how many rows and columns do you want? It'll take the photos that you have already selected and put them into rows and columns. Now, right now, I have one row, one column. It's not the most exciting layout. So let's add two rows or three rows or four rows, and you can see where we're at. Now, there's no space between them, right? They're butted right up each against each other. So what I can do is go here to cell spacing, and just click on vertical and add a little space and then I can control exactly how much space is between each one. Now I only have four, four rows and one column. What if I added two columns? Well now I can also do the horizontal space between them and get a layout that looks nice. Let's add a few more. Let's go to maybe, uh, sorry I'm not want to be on the space thing. I want to jump up here to the columns and you notice how it all adjusts live and I think that's the big thing here. Because it all happens live, it's very easy to come up with cool layouts and things that you like and just being able to adjust your, you know, uh, margins for, you know, uh, their space between the images uh, visually. And, of course, you can do your margins as well. If you wanted uh, smaller margins, you can do the same thing. If you want everything closer to the edges, you can do that as well just by putting in the numbers or moving the sliders and you'd do a better job than I'm doing there. I'm just kind of eyeing it, which is, you know, you know how that well works, how well that works. Here's uh here's four columns by four columns. That looks nice. Or five columns by four columns. Anyway, that's what it is. You're going to choose how many rows and columns you want here, how much spacing you want between your columns right there. And you're going to control your margins up there. That is it. Now, the nice thing is when you're done, of course, you can print it. You're in the print module or you can go to the print job panel, click right here. And that's right. Save it as a JPEG. That way you could save this layout. Uh, you could email it. You could put it on Instagram or you could put it on your Facebook page or you could put it wherever you want it. Put it as your LinkedIn profile. You can do whatever you want with it because it's just a JPEG file. Look like any other JPEG file. So there you have it. Guys, thanks for checking this out. I hope you'll go over to kelby1.com and see all of the in-depth training that we have for Lightroom. We have over almost, well, we have almost now 60 full-length classes on everything you can imagine for Lightroom. Just go over there, check it out, see what you think. You can also join our free membership level and start watching some classes right away right today so thanks for listening check it and checking it out we'll catch you guys next time